here's a tutorial in making this kind of effect if you look on to the effect text effect here uh, if you can see the intersection of the text uh, it's transparent so we're gonna do that and if I move up here if you take a look this look at this picture here it's a scan the image and but notice the the border the border is like a brush effect see if I zoom in here you could see that the border has a brush effect so how will I do that in Corel would I do that manually or is there a better way to do it okay so that's the tutorial for today now let's start with the with a text here okay so I'm gonna type the word I mean the name can I enlarge it Oops. And I'm gonna choose the font I'm just gonna match the font with this one. I think that's Arial black no, Arial bold okay now here if you notice it's uh, it's the text there's not nothing special with the text but it's just that the text uh, the character spacing is different right so what I want you to do if you go to the shape tool okay click on the shape tool, and you'll see this icon here you click and move it to the left side that would change the character spacing now the character spacing would be decreased actually it's better if it's a minus you know it would go it would overlap okay and uh, because we can edit that later and then you click on pink because that's what we're gonna use and then I want you to go to arrange because we're going to separate each character so you go to arrange and break artistic text apart okay now if you notice if I select I can select each individual letters now try to zoom in here now the only thing that they use there uh, that I use there is the the lens effect so if you go to effects click on lens here's the here is the dialog box for lens so if I click on the a the first one okay and then if I click on inside here say for example I wanted 50% transparent and then hit enter you would see that the a here is 50% transparent of the pink Okay. then the U I would say 60 hit enter that's 60 and what I'll do I'll just change the transparency I'll make it different transparency say for example here I click on 30 and that will change the transparency of each letter I go back to 50 hit enter and I'll use this to okay I'll use the R first to make it say 40 hit enter and this one will make it 60 hit enter okay so if I zoom out see that's like the exact effect that I've created now you're not stuck with that you can always go back and change the transparency because since it's individual letters now you can say for example here it's it's I can increase the transparency to 40 hit enter right or this one I'll make it 50 hit enter or let's say the letter A because since it's the first one I'll make it less transparent so I'll make it 30 there okay and you can not only that you can adjust the the spacing because it's individual letters now okay so that's how you do it Okay, maybe the O, move it, oh, move it to the right. There you go. So that's okay. That's the that's for this effect. Now let's let's go back to the picture here. Okay, the picture. I'll just explain to you. It's a scanned image, and then I put an ellipse, and then power clip it into into the shape or the ellipse and then make an artistic uh, media so I'm going to drag this down here I can actually close this uh, dialog box here so you have bigger space okay so 
I'm going to create an ellipse. So you go to your ellipse uh, tool or F7 and then click and drag it down. Okay, that's perfect. Now I'll zoom in here. Now power clip. Click on the image. It has to be the image. And you go to effects. Click on power clip. Place inside a container. Okay, where is my container? My container is the ellipse that I just did. So click on the container and it goes in. Okay. Now, this one is an artistic media. Since this one has a has an outline, I can put a, an artistic media on that. So you click on the object, which is power clipped. And if I go to this icon here for artistic media, right? And I make sure brush is on, is selected. Okay, you don't use spray or calligraphy. And then in here, in these options here, you can have lots of brush effects. The, well, the brush that I use is this one. There. But just to show you, you can you can experiment what you want, what brush you want. For example, I'm gonna choose this one. See there are lots of effects. And don't worry about the color because you can always change the color. For example, this one. See, you can always change that color. Anyway, let's go back to the one I chose. It's this one. Okay. And notice the color is different. Okay. Treat that color as a fill and do not treat that as an outline. So if I click on the f uh, to make the fill different, I mean the border different. I just go to this one and it changes. I'll choose this one here. Okay. And you don't go to the outline, you go to the fill tool to change the color. Choose this fill dialog. And I can change the color here and then click OK. Once again, you're changing the fill color and not the outline color. And look at that. Now you have a border which is the which has a brush stroke effect. That's really neat. Like you can create uh, lots of uh, lots of effects with that one. You can even have it square. Okay, so I'm gonna explain that one. Okay, so I'm just gonna duplicate this one plus sign and move it to the left here. I mean to the right. Okay, now I'm gonna extract this picture effects power clip extract content because so i just want the picture and i'll move it over here okay say you want a rectangular i'm gonna crop it this way here okay so click on the picture and go to effects power clip place inside a container and this is the container now see it auto centered because i didn't go to tools options and and remove auto center but you can still edit that by going to effects power clip edit contents and in edit contents if you notice this blue portion here that's the power clip so you just want to move the picture okay and once you're done go to finish editing object okay now now I'll go back to my artistic media which is this one choose artistic media that make sure it's brush and then I can choose other effect brush effects if some won't work so make sure you experiment on that one see that one works if you increase it okay I would always go to this one here because that one works see that's a nice effect It's like a sketchy effect. Or right, let's try this one. And then you can change the color. See, that's a nice effect too. Okay, I'll try to go to this one here. There. That looks good. Now, if you want to make the same color, you can always go to Edit, Copy Properties from and click on fill make sure it's fill and then click ok and then choose this one here there very nice effect 